We're just coming to the end of the excavation of one of London's Elizabethan playhouses. It's known as the Curtain Theatre. We began this phase of full excavation under our lovely roof uh, in April. It has been an extraordinary experience to be part of this process. If you can see behind me, Mola are still digging away, but as we reach the end of the dig, we've been really astounded by the excitement that the dig has created and actually what's been found. One of our most exciting things we found, they actually found quite early on, was a ceramic vessel. It's tiny, it's only about the size of an egg cup, and it was the bottom half of a bird whistle. So you fill it with water, you blow down it, and it makes the sound of bird song. Was it used maybe for the bird song in productions of Romeo and Juliet, which we know was staged just behind me? The stage that we found here, which was flanked by a four gallery theatre, which housed up to 1,200 people, is actually rectangular and not octagonal as we initially expected. So the design of the office building, which is going to sit alongside the theatre, has had to be changed to accommodate an even larger visitor centre. Once we've taken the finds off site, they come back here and they're processed. And we can then start to understand exactly the kind of things we're finding. These curious looking ceramic objects, they're the tops from money pots. And they were used to collect money at the door. The little clay pipes, this one was actually found under the stage. One thing that was unexpected is the small figurine. It's the bottom half. Uh, of a figure of Bacchus sitting on a barrel. It's quite interesting because we don't actually know what date it is at the moment. We don't know what it was from. Was it a figurine? Was it part of something else? These are the questions these kind of finds are posing. Global interest in Shakespeare and the global interest in London has really uh, blown our socks off, really. We've been very impressed and very excited to be part of it. Well, once we've finished analysing and conserving the artefacts, of course, the most exciting ones will then be put on display within the new purpose-built visitor centre, back on the site where they were found, that people from across the globe can come and actually feel that real connection to Shakespeare and his contemporaries. This does not belong to us. This is a part of London. So we really want people to enjoy it with us and to understand and explore London as part of the process. We will close up this part of the development, we will cover it. Work will begin anew on the groundworks on the rest of the site. We will then begin the construction process and we will be looking forward to inviting people back here in 2019 for the grand opening of our visitor centre to celebrate Shakespeare and Shoreditch.